What's up guys, another tutorial. Um, I wanted to do this one as a video, not a stream. Um, just because things can go wrong with this, you know, a lot of crashes. Um, I'm trying 2017 out and the first thing I thought I'd try out was something interesting to me, which was skinning. And because there's been a lot of updates. Now in 2016, if you have a look, I've got a guy here, if you click on him, you've got dual quaternion. So that was added in 16, I think, and the service pack for 15. Um, which is it's really good um, it's a brilliant tool and then in 17 if you go down here we've got voxel and heat map skinning again super good so I just want to go over them okay so I'm gonna I've got this character and you can see he, he, he skinned all right um, this is default skinning even the jaw which is very impressive um, so if I, I put him back, actually I'll just turn his animation layer off. Okay, I've got a problem with the, the wrist, so if you see it flick it, flickering, uh, don't worry about it, it's just a, a problem, I'm going to rebuild that. Um, so this mesh is built from three meshes, head, body, four meshes, hands and feet. Don't worry too much about that. Um, and what I've done is I've grabbed them all before I started my skin. This is if you're doing separate meshes like this and just put them all in a selection set by typing it up here like this and um, so you can see I've got my this mesh selection set okay uh, I've also got these bones and that what that'll do is select all of my bones now this is really important um, with 2016 2017's new kind of rollout interface thing and um, it's dead easy to do this it's a really good tip so if you just put them all in a selection set and you're good to go. I'm going to take skin off this mesh. Just delete it. Okay, there we go. And um, I'm going to put it back on. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if I go um, mesh and skin. Okay, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do, add bones. Now, the reason I put the bones into a selection set is to make it easier. Um, because when you get to this, you're like, oh no. Um, they're all you know in layers and they're all this and that so you could say expand all and it expands all the all the hierarchies and then select them all but if they're in a selection set you can just hit the drop down here and just go thin bones and then you don't get all the panels and you don't have to look out for the platforms and all that stuff um, and that's good so we go select that there you go now I'm gonna put my actual animation layer on and just see what that default skin has come up with because it's going to be pretty bad. I'm going to turn my bones off. Okay. It's kind of a 3D Max default skin, um, which, you know, obviously these little areas here, it's just messed up. Um, it's obviously messed up this bit. It's a low poly model, so it should be fairly simple. This bit's messed up, so that means this bit's going to be. And the jaw, the jaw doesn't even work. So if I have a look, my actual jaw is down let's see what it's doing yeah it's not doing it it's, it's grabbed most of his face <laughs> which is quite funny and then his face um you know his face bones are not very good um and that's pretty much what you standardly get um before these tools come along so what i'm going to do is grab all my mesh go into the skin and turn on verts I'll just grab it with that selection and I'm gonna just in fact I'm just gonna grab it all which you know you don't really need to do that if you're doing it all and go into voxel skinning down at the bottom there's a little button next to it so I'm gonna hit that and it gives you some settings um, so you can look these settings up I'm not gonna go into them they're pretty much self-explanatory some of them um, so I'm gonna leave it at default just to make it easy for you and just go apply and you'll see at the bottom here um, you've got like computing geodesic so if you don't know what voxel is it's 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 kind of like a point cloud data so it's converting all your mesh into that and then calculating what verts are next to each other and then assuming that's a joint blah 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 okay so that's done so let's have a look at any difference let's come out of the skin let's have a look at any difference Turn them bones off because we don't want them on. Okay, here we go. Okay, much better. 
much better. Um, apart from this bit, which you know I expected to happen, um, I'm just going to fix that in a bit with I just set all them verts to one on the shin bone. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look at this, you know, pretty nice. The jaw, the jaw's working, which is strange. Let's just have a look how how it's working. There you go. The jaw is actually it's managed to skin the jaw, which I am completely amazed at. And this is all automated. Uh, let's have a look at these. These are these are fairly good. Oh, these are actually really good. That could do with a bit more influence on the eye and less on the head, but you know, no matter. So look what this is doing. Okay, that's pretty good as well. Um, okay. Um, so you know we've took quite a lot of stuff out of the skinning and weighing um, sense. If you look at these trouble areas, uh, which are always the groin and the armpit, the armpit is pretty much bang on, and the um, groin is it's all right. It could do with that vert shifting out a little bit, but that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to do it again and grab this mesh, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go into it again. I'm just, I'll select it all because I'm going to turn it to heat map. And heat map, you've got same options but one less. And then apply that. Um, for me, heat map um, worked a little bit better for areas that I wanted a very tight, uh, tight kind of fold, like fingers and things. Um, it's, but this takes a little bit longer to calculate. Okay, yep, yeah, I think that's done. No, it's not. <laughs> Every time you think it's done, it's not done. Okay, and heat mapping. Um, I'm not actually sure how heat mapping works, so you have to look it up. And that's uh, how, how this works. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so heat mapping. I've never tried heat mapping on the full body before, so it might not be as good. Okay. Okay, so it's it's not really done as, as good a job on the jaw. Let's just check some of these out. It's pretty much the same as it did before. Should have controllers on these bones, really. Yeah, it's not really... I, I, I say it's more local to geometry, this, it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of very literal with geometry. Um, but if we look at stuff like that, it's I'd say it might have done a bit a better, better job for that possibly and a bit of a better job for that um, and then the armpit again is pretty spot on um, I'm going to look at the fingers here in fact I'm just going to turn them uh, into boxes so I can see the fingers um, let's just see what's happening okay fingers pretty good Got a nice spread <laughs> hey okay so you know heat map or voxel map pretty good um, depending on what you're rigging um, so I hope that helps um, and hopefully you'll be able to skin characters a little bit easier um, thank you